There's a little bit of a reflection, but that's okay. Hello, hello, and it's super close, but that's okay. I am, I'm gonna show you the fire here in a second. I think it'll be blocked if I, maybe not. In a second, I'm gonna spin the camera around for a second so y'all can see the fire. Can you see my beautiful fire, Anna? It's a very, it's a roaring fire. It is. Okay. So. Let me turn it around real quick. This way. There it is. Here, I'll move you might this, need to move I'll that move pillow. This pillow. And they're gonna see my pants on there. Your little, your, those are his Christmas plaid pants, also known as cold weather pajamas. <laughs> there you go. It's a cute fire. It's not a cute fire, Mandy. It's, it's you can't a say it's fire. a you can't say it's a cute fire because he'll go make it into a bonfire, right? No, he is a good fire maker. I will give him that. Let me turn around for just a second again and so that people come in can see it. Um, we took the stockings down. I don't know if we were supposed to. Sean says he yeah, thinks it gets too hot well, right there. Well, the stockings were hanging like here. And I didn't think that would have been very smart. No, probably because not. Because of the types of fires that I build. Grab that, there you go, because Sawyer will chew it up. Okay, so it's still pointed at the fire just for a second. As I fix it. What's wrong with the fire? I just need to get it in a good place. Okay, let me load this. Um, it is extremely cold here, guys. It is, tomorrow they said it's going to be above freezing, but it's nowhere near, like, right now, it's literally, um, I believe it's like, what, like nine degrees or something? It's a little bit warmer tonight than it was last night, but. It is. And it's supposed to keep getting, you know, like a little warmer. Yeah. Every, every night, so. I'm coming in now to this to look at, there we go. No, wait a minute, are we? We're live. How do you find where here. we're at? You go just like this. Go to the go to very, our icon. Very... Here. You go up here. I'm going to turn it back around in a second. I'm going to clear out the cache so that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to be, I'm going to be. Sawyer's like, Sawyer ran out. He peed real, real quick. And then he uh, came back in. There we go. That's a good little thing. We can't figure out how to sit in front of it. That's the problem. Like, we need we need something that, cause you know, we're super old, so our backs hurt. We need something that like supports our back, but also um, is low enough that you can see the fire. That kind of thing. Let me turn it back around now. Okay. I think they saw it. I think they saw it. Okay, so there you go. We did not lie in our title. It is a fireside. It is. It's a fireside thing. Thank it's, you. It's, it's, um, this woman is amazing. Like we're laying there about an hour ago and we're both like, uh, food coma. It's I was cold. Sleeping. I'm off today and I don't have to go to work tomorrow or Monday. So that's kind of cool. Very and I'm cool. like, are we going to go live? And she's like, yeah. And, um, she goes in the right. bathroom and like the Tasmanian devil shows <laughs> comes out and looks looking like. Well, because like I, for whatever reason, when it gets super cold, my knee hurts. And not hurts that's, like, that's, but not hurts like, you know, like no, arthritis hurts. But not that's, like, cold does that. I mean, so when it, remember when it was cold and rainy for like 10 days and I was just dragging my ass yeah. around, it, it hurt. That's crazy. Hey, let it go. You, I figured people, and, and I actually had it set right this time. Um, not for 1969 where you need a time machine. No, I could share it out, but um, I left the front light off like on here. So it looks more. I didn't work today, Karen. No, she said, did you work? No, I didn't. I won't work hey, tomorrow. Reese's. I don't work Monday. Yeah. Yay. I go Doesn't back happen. to work Tuesday the 27th. She put it yes. in there. Yes. We, we, sometimes Sean talks very loud because he doesn't know that he can't hear out of his ear. Yeah. And plus it's, I'm on. They don't, they're not going to hear you talking loud. <laughs> Mandy's so sweet about it. I am. I'm like, like. Like if I'm starting to talk real, real loud, she'll just go. And she'll lean in a little bit, and I'll be like, oh. I don't even have to say anything. And then when we're in the car, Sean's very animated with his hands. Um, and most of the time, it doesn't matter. But sometimes I'm convinced that I'm afraid the people in front of us are going to think, like, and they're like, what did I do? What did we? Because he talks, and he's like, talk, whatever. And I'm like, I, Like, they're going to think, like, if they yeah. cut in front of me, and well, I'm no, going no, like, like this. No, 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 like, if we're sitting at a light, and you're like, like this, talking about whatever, they're going to be like, I I'm just sitting at the light. But or I don't think they'll they get would. mad. If someone's mad, they'll go, what? And then, of course, I'll have to go. I don't think so. But I don't think so. It's not, it's not, it's only sometimes. Yeah. It depends what we're discussing, how animated you are. Letico says I'm in the dark, but that's okay because it's fireside. 
I could turn it up. I mean, I could turn the light on, but it, how, how dark is it? Let it go. Tell, you oh, because you're leaning oh, you, you'll be able way to see it. You back. See. It's like one of those shows over. where they're like investigating, but they have the person in the dark and they're asking them questions. They're like hiding like, their um, and then identity. I let them, they were in my doorway for the third time. That, <laughs> that one day when we were watching that and it was that I'm a stalker. Mm -hmm. And so it was the, you know, his victim or whatever. And they were like, she's concealing her identity for whatever. And I'm like, he, you know, he stalked her. <laughs> he stalked her. What did she get? Like, a, did she, I mean, like, did she get her name and face changed? You get a facelift and go into witness protection? You yeah, know? it is kind of dark. Yeah, Let me turn weird. the lamp on. And then, of okay. course, Scout and Sawyer, because Scout's like, it's past my bed. It's Christmas Eve, Scout. You get to stay up later. Let it go. It's like Sean's in the dark. Poor baby. Dark. Yes. Um, oh, that is warm. That feels good. Let it go's got my back, baby. She she likes seeing you. She she's she likes got my to back. See you is that a little better? Back that ass up. Look, I got a haircut too. I'm gonna show him. I cut his hair. Got my haircut, and right uh, now it's got hat hair. But when it's, it's wet okay. and lazy, it looks good. I did a good job. You he did was a really in good he was job. in such a he was watching his phone so I could take the time to be meticulous and go back over it and whatever. Sometimes he's like, it looks good. I'm like, I think I'm learning to just. It takes a second to do right. Just you know. You think so? I think so. But he trusts me. He doesn't even look at it after Wise. Um, I had a company, I had company tonight, was secretly hoping they'd leave. I made tons of food and everybody had a good time. But now I'm in my happy place. Yes. Give the videos and all as well. Give, yes. Yeah. Um, we, there is a pillow that we almost got for your dad. Mm -hmm. And we could have had it too. And it says, welcome to our home. Please leave by nine. Please leave. Yeah. It was like, so <laughs> my dad. Um, my dad loves his family for sure, but at, in his eighties, um, like the other night, was it, what, what, the 23rd, Thursday night. He was all no, family out. Whatever it was. Um, he, all three of his sons and Stop, all of his sorry. grandkids were there. So he had five grandkids, two great grandkids and all three of his, and he was just kind of like. And it had been event after event after event. Mm -hmm. He's so funny though. I'll go, I'll be like, family is what it's all about. He goes, I know. <laughs> He's, he says, I find that I get crotchier in my own old age. And I said, no, I've been like that forever. When I've ever had like company, I can do a couple of days. And then I'm like, okay. Like when my parents would visit when we were in the military, they, w they would visit for a few days. That's the, um, the music for our Christmas tree video. Oh, it got... It's, well, it's, it's just not going to be monetized. They're going to play it. It just won't be monetized. Even though they let you play it and you get to... It, they do that. But, um, so anyway, after a few days, I was like, everything has to go where it's supposed to go. And, but it's funny, his dad was talking about when you and your brothers left tools out. Yeah. And they'd find yeah, he, it and be rusty. Yeah. And, and yeah, he, I still do that. Hey, Mandy, Michaela. Mandy, you go out in the yard and, and there'll be like one of her pairs of scissors will be out there. And I'm pretty good though. I've surrendered more than one set of knives to the cause. Cause I'm like, well, not, not like the big nice ones, but like, you know, you can get a pack for $12 or whatever. And I use them in the dishwasher and I let them use them for whatever. And I figure, well, you'll just, we'll just replace them. I have to um, dig around and find my knives. I mean, Merry Christmas, G. I have a couple of filet knives that are in my fish and stuff, but I, I got a couple little buck knives that I can't find. For instance, I was um, cutting apart the, you know, that little block that you put in to start the fire. I don't, you don't need a whole block. You know, if you're going to use that, you might as well not put any wood in it. So I cut it into like quarters, um, but I didn't have a knife to do it. So Mandy let me use a bread I knife. I did. I said, you go for it. You do your thing. I've gotten much more, well, there's certain things I'm still picky about, but things like that can be easily replaced, like a set of knives or um, pots and pans can be put in the dishwasher now. The uh, set I just got said that it's dishwasher safe. Um, there's Jude. I'm going to show you what I'm giving. Well, this is not all I'm giving her, but hey, this Jude. is one of the things I'm giving her. These right here are going to my mother-in-law. This is what I was trying to print yesterday when I was bitching about the printer. And it's supposed to look kind of country and rustic. It's not supposed to be like pristine. It's supposed to look like an old general store or something. But it says curly coop. It's tied with twine. And it's six of reds eggs red is cold red is very cold red was getting all puffed up and acting grouchy and i was like no she liked that i brought her in here i brought her into warmth and she was like 
I can do this. I, the, the one that you, when you held her, I was like, she didn't run from you. Mm -hmm. But I also think she knows that she can hear them in here. Mm -hmm. I and brought she, her in there and let her see them. Thank you. She probably has no idea they're hers. Um, The Silkies don't, they're not the Silkies, but they're the broody ones. Yeah. One of them is the Americanas, I'm pretty sure. But the other one, but he was holding her and, and we just get so paranoid when they let us pick them up because in the past when they've let us pick them up when they're older, if they're little independent things, it usually means they're not feeling well. But I think she was just super cold. I, I think the super cold makes her not feel so good. Yeah. I mean, I uh, I mean, she's drinking, eating, doing all that. I, I'm don't, always, don't get me started. I, I mean, was paranoid because I was like, okay, well, if the silkies aren't letting her into the nesting box to lay an egg, then she's going to get all backed up. And then Sean's like, it doesn't work like that. You know, it, it, <laughs> they have to lay one to make egg, one. But, um, they have to yeah. lay one to make one, right? Well, what will happen is, is if they don't lay, they'll their body will kind of absorb it. You know, that it's protein. How? It's protein. Mm -hmm. Like if they don't aren't getting enough to eat, they won't okay. lay eggs. I mean, they'll if they've got to choose between, say, adding feathers, you know, for the to keep mm -hmm. warm or eggs, their body's going to do the that feathers. That makes sense. And so it might be that. That makes sense. But she obviously wasn't herself. And no. That, that's... Like, but it all is well. She's going to be fine. Yeah. I was like, and I was funny because when he, we were looking at her all puffed up and we were like, okay, she got, I was like, it, 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 if any more go, we're just going to turn it into a shed. We're done with the chickens. I but don't think I not. could. Um, I know. I know. Um, the menses. Exactly. Menses. Letitia is going to be in jail for the holiday. Do you know she's got a new charge for beating up a corrections officer? She she just probably... She's well, she, got two more charges. Um, well, Al posted it for... <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Um, and if she can't get her weed... I mean, she's super sweet. She's pretty girl. Pretty but girl she when starts, she's got her weed. If she's, she doesn't have her weed. If she's she starts bitch. hitting those correction officers, she's yeah. going to spend a very long time in prison. She probably got hit back, too, and caught a charge. I mean, I've never... Um, well, I can't say I've never been in jail, but y'all know the story. But um, I could see her being a spitter. Couldn't something you? like that. I could see her spitting if that's all she could do. Yeah, and or they're just not listening to her, and she's pretty used to having mm -hmm. people's attention. And uh, yeah, Scout, you'll only jump in that fire once. He he likes the tools. She'll what she'll say is, "Hey, X table." She'll say, um, "That's what I'm saying." She'll th do something nasty like that. Um, I'm going to shut that. Look, so they're that... intrigued with it. I've never seen... Here, let me turn it around real quick. Hold on, all right? Don't do it yet. Watch them, but don't don't stop them yet because I want them to see how intrigued the animals are. Where's the other... The, yeah, back... She went behind the... Uh, scout's behind you now. Oh, okay. Storm, Storm's like, I don't know, but it's warm. And it's Sawyer... It's warm. There, there's Sawyer Brown. Sawyer Brown's like, my dad can build a fire. Sawyer's like, you chose to cut my hair off when it was about to drop into the teens in single digits. I know. Anyways. You kept it freaking hot. I know. And it was, you know, hot out, and then you cut it when it was. The, it was when they said, how do you want it like you normally do? And I was like, sure, that like we normally do. And I didn't take into consideration it's the winter time, but they charge so dang much to get them groomed. You want to get your money's worth out of it. You know what I mean? Um, so that is what is up. We have eggs for gifts. Red's not laying them as fast. And I'm sorry, I don't want to give the silky eggs away because they're creepy looking. They're little bitty eggs. And I think that most people would be like, what the hell are those? Hey, Hope, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Hope said Merry Christmas to Captain and Mrs. Curly. You're, um, she always calls me the captain. I know. That's they're, cool. The, um, and then we were, I was, I've never seen any of the Reacher movies. What are they called, Sean? What? What is that movie with Tom, Tom Cruise, the John Reacher? Uh, Jack Reacher. I've never seen any of those. So I, I'm looking at one because I kind of like, I took a small nap, I took Benadryl and I woke up and saw it. And I was like, most people would argue, I started really thinking, Tom Cruise really isn't that fantastic of an actor. He's what? It's Tom Cruise is not that fantastic of an actor. No, but he's so used to being a leading man. Yeah, he does that well. But like you look at him and that the girl, his counterpart, definitely was not a good actress. The major or whatever. That made me think of that because Hope said that and that made me remember the movie. But and then there was a movie, like another movie that I have never seen. Complete Hey Jocelyn, Merry Christmas. Thank you. 
the other end of the spectrum again. Yeah, I don't, I'm not crazy about Tom Cruise. What is it called, Friday? Yeah, we were watching the Friday tr trilogy too. Never seen any of those either. Did the one where they were like, the, the Hispanic, I don't know how do they get away with that because they were totally. It was, it was like 2000. Oh, okay. It was a long time ago. I mean, long. they were like, I thought it was funny, but they were, I was like, how do they get away with like the Hispanic jokes and, and, and making them you like. You guys like Friday? I mean, it's, it, so they played them in reverse. They played Friday after next. I wonder why they did that. And they're doing it with Jack Reacher. They're playing the, the, the newest one first. Huh. But so Friday after next, Come here, um, I didn't really didn't see, I don't really know that one. I think that's the Christmas one. That's why they played it first, probably because it's about Christmas. Oh, Christmas okay. in the hood. And then the one after it that Mandy's talking about was next Friday, which is when um, his uncle. Sawyer. Ice Cube, Craig's uncle wins the lottery. And so they're not in the hood. They're out in the suburbs. And now they just started the very first Friday, the historic movie. I mean, it's. It's badass. See, it's cold out there, isn't it? It's pretty when cold. When I step it's out, not as cold as yes. When I step though. out real quick and then come back in, I like I have to use my inhaler because this difference and you get used to breathing in one. Um. So yeah, it was Go not bad. I, actually, the the Friday was it was kind of cute. It was kind of funny. It, it. What I don't like is it's. I think it's on like IFC, yeah. so there's commercials. A lot. And then, yeah, so they take an hour and 20 minute movie and make it three hours. And so that kind of, so over the course of watching all three of those movies, you're, you're, it takes like eight hours to watch all three when it would normally take about Stop. four and a half Don't five. start. Stop. He start, and I just he took him potty. I know, and I know that I just took him to the bathroom, so I know he's. He took a dump earlier, so he's, he's good. The, you now y'all know. Did, um, <laughs> no, I was laughing because he did, and he did it quickly. He does this. He didn't have to When we around. go live, he has a little moment when he just needs to be a shih tzu, and that's what it is right now. That's very true. He's like, we saw one of um, Sean's coworkers, and she has like a, I, I don't think it's a pup. I think it's a chihuahua, maybe poodle. I think it's a chihuahua poodle mix or a chihuahua. I think she said it was a chi um chipu they call it so i think it's a chihuahua poodle oh okay and it was like it was kind of like sawyer it'll bark and bark but it really it just wants attention so we we had sawyer with us so we like let them kind of interact and sawyer's so funny because the dog started barking again and trying to be and sawyer does not bother yeah he's just sitting there wagging his tail he goes oh i'm no threat he's like, look there's a there's a pit bull <laughs> across the street there's a husky down the street He's like, it, we're all it, good. Yeah, we're good to go. And it's amazing how when he does, like if there's a dog that gets out and he runs up and wags his tail, they're either scared of him and they run, or and I'm talking bigo dogs, or they're immediately disarmed because he's like yeah. wagging his tail and he's just sitting there. They know he's no, he's like, I'm yeah. not even gonna be a little dog syndrome. I'm like, yeah. just wanna chill with you. I just get worried because he runs over into their yard. Yeah. So if that if the bigger dog does something, there's really no recourse for us. No. You know? But it's funny but. because I have to tell people, like, the lady has home health, comes once, about once a day, she, they come over, and he'll start barking, and he'll go into, you know, go in towards, so, because he want what he really wants is wants the person to pet them. Yeah. So he starts like that, and then I'll go, I'm sorry, and I'll be, like, telling him to stop, no, whatever. Hey, EXO family. And then um, he will, um, they'll go immediately bend down and start petting him, and I'm like, well, try not to, you know, like reinforce the bad behavior because, but what can you do? I mean, they want to pet your dog, they want to pet your dog, you know what I mean? So I went out today, um, and it's I'm really kind of off my game because normally with it getting dark as early as it does, Mandy puts Stop. the chickens up, And but since I was here, um, I, I got out, I went out there about 6.30, it had been dark for about a half hour, and I closed the chicken cage and I checked on them to make sure that they're all good, and I hear, you know, like, hello? It's cold, and I'm like, whoa, it's dark out there, and it's my neighbor down the street, the one with the um with the pug. That... I posted that, all right, online, go ahead. Oh, I didn't know that. No, no, but tell me, because um, not everybody and, knows. You know, so this is, y'all know the history, their, their pug you, has Mama, taken, Rick, Rick, has Rick. messed with our chickens, and we kind of had, a not really a falling out, but we had a moment with them where it's like, look, keep your dog over there. Um, so about a week ago, a week and a half ago, Mandy brought them some eggs. Y'all remember I took the picture, yeah. had the bow on it, and so left I'm on the just, porch. I'm out there in the dark. He's like, it's cold. How you doing? And I know it was I knew it was Fernando. That's the guy's name. And I'm like, hey man. And he comes walking right up. And I look at those chickens. We're standing in front of the chicken coop and we're looking at the chickens with a little heater in there and all that. And he goes, You like tamales? And I was like, Yeah. And he's got a whole plate, a whole like 
probably eight of them all together. Yeah, they, Re I mean, literally more than that. And big um, O tamales. And you you put those on Twitter already? Yeah, I put it when it came oh. over because I took a picture of the spaghettios and I was like, this is what I was going to eat because yeah. we're preparing for the feast tomorrow. So we're like trying to, um, and then I was like, and this is. I, I'm coming through the back door too, like oh. the, the side door. And I'm like, hey, babe, Fernando brought us these tamales. And Mandy was like, she was chopping up chicken wings and she was like, okay. And she puts those up. I was like, like, and the thing is, is like, um, Merry Christmas, Mama Ricky. He's kidding. Oh. Hey, Mama Ricky. I was like, there, I know Sean well enough. Hey, Mephesta. Like, he came in and he, I heard him say, babe. Mm -hmm. And I was like. You know it was news. It's either good or bad. I was like, it's either something's wrong with a chicken or it wasn't his normal like. Like, hey, I just, he would have just gone into what he was talking about. Let it go said that one dog you punted. Yes. Yeah. And now <laughs> they have cameras. Yeah. Um, but they really weren't mad when I apologized to him. He said, hey, it happens. And I'm, so it's like whatever. But he knows now not to mess with the chickens. And that pug doesn't come within a city block of our, but um, so he's got this big pile of tamales. And I'm from Texas. And like that's how you get them when you buy some. They were with the corn, with the corn cob yeah, outside of them, or whatever. They have it is. lots of the husk on top. They have yeah. lots of the mace, and I, that's how I like it. Lots of that, and not so much of the filling. I mean, a decent and, amount of filling, but not a ton. Perfect. And what I noticed about that, because I call those authentic, because you know it, they're they're Hispanic, mm -hmm. and um, I think and Mandy here. and Mandy said it's probably the mom. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I notice with that kind of maize, you taste the corn. You, I mean, oh yeah. You you. It's almost like mashed up corn. Oh yeah. It's it, it's it was super very good. good. Yeah. Very good. It was um, yeah. And it, they're still in there. We'll probably have one more before bed. And then I was like, we could take them over to your parents tomorrow. And then I was like, yeah, no, probably not. I'm making the red potatoes for the meal. That's good enough. We um we've got three. This is day one of three together. And one thing that we have in this house, we're going to do a whole lot of nothing for three days because that's how we like it. And yeah. um, food. See, really what we need is food. That's it. Hey, Lisa. Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, Jocelyn says her mom makes the best. We're from El Salvador. See? Mm -hmm. And I found that the younger generation, it's hit or miss whether they've learned to make it. A lot of times they'll say it's a whole lot of trouble and they don't have time. But, but I mean, but the if young, they take the, the time to learn, meaning our, our age, and I no, heard yeah. if you've got to, it take, you got to make it and make it and make it. And then you perfect how you do it. But yeah, when I opened the husk and did it, it rolled out immediately. It was, it was pretty good. Yeah. And I had a feeling because when he handed me the, yes, Karen, when he awesome. handed me the, like the, the, it's like a disposable, like sheet pan, like a lasagna pan is heavy. Oh, yeah. I knew it was a lot it's a of food. a pile of them. And I'm wondering, he, I'm wondering if he was going to come all the way to the door and he just caught me outside. Because he was up by the street. Like, I and think he, goes, he would have. And I'm wondering, and they're, they're obviously all for us, but I'm wondering if they're, what I'm getting at is, is we have a good street. We really do have a good street here. Yeah. I mean, we're all kind of different. We all have our quirks, but um, we were talking about that earlier. Um, it's, there's not a whole lot of bad things that have happened that no. on the street. I noticed, I figure there's family over because their cars are parked in the yard uh, to make room. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, Sawyer, I'm not going to, he didn't need to go out or anything. I think I, he, he wants, you know what he wants me to do and I'm not going to do it. Put the rest of the little bit of wet cat food that the cat's left behind. He wants me to put the bowl on the ground. Oh, he, so he keeps going over there and then. I think that's why. I'm his punk. Doing? Let me tell you, I'm his punk. And Mommy's I'm not, not doing that for no, you No, right there's now. too much salt in it. There's too much salt in it. That's what the people told us. And it makes you chubby, dude. He's like, you know what? Don't even worry about that. Don't Just worry about my way. He's like, uh -uh. it's too cold to be outside. I'll get the air. Good. Karen has, I say they're new, but you've, you've been there a while now. Karen, were you in the RV last Christmas? I, was she in it? I think she. Yeah, well, well, she was in it when we were um, in January. I know that. I think she might have been. She'll, um, yes, she was. I remember that. Karen was, they were in waiting for their new house to be ready and close on it and everything. And she stayed with her dogs and the hubby. Um, they had like, one time she said she thought a bear was shaking it. Like, um, remember that Karen? And then one time they got flooded. It was one thing after another. Um, we moved in around March. That's what I thought. Um, so she like, but Karen, you know how Karen is. She just kind of rolls with it. 
Finally, one day she's like, I'm sick of it. I'm, I don't want to be in this so thing. Over this. She, she did. She goes, I said, because at first we were like, it'll be fun. It'll be like a bonding experience. You'll get to see other people. It was six months. There you go. And I was wow. like, and then it started, you know, she started getting tired of it. And I was like, one day this will be a memory. Right, Karen? I said, you'll be in your house with all your stuff put away and it will just be a memory. Just get to the other side of it. And um, that's sometimes how I've kept my sanity through things. I'm like, okay, this will be a memory that we go, wow, we made it through. You know what I mean? Um, I, I was, and it wasn't supposed to be six months, was it? It was supposed to be the second time we lived. Yeah, but wasn't it supposed to only be like four months tops and it turned into six or something like that? Do they have problems like with the house or something? Um, or? It was, I think like inspections or something when they were trying to close on it, I think. And then she moved in and of course, Karen being Karen, she was like, you know, she was like, I'm, you might want to, I think you're just out. She was like, I am so okay. sore. Okay. She was like, I, you know, and I'm exaggerating. But she's like, yeah, I've just painted three bedrooms and redid the floors. I'm so it's, tired. Of course she did. And I'm like, Karen, you don't have to do it all today or whatever. But um, yeah, they had to find the house and then do all the closing. It was when the housing market was crazy and everybody was like. It was good though. It was good to. It was good. It was a good time if you were not like obsessed with your house to sell and then you had a bunch to put down somewhere else or people retired early they would sell their house and um you know move into something smaller and they would literally retire off of what they made on the house so not karen but um but but what i take from karen and her husband is they're um thank you karen they're very in tune with um trends and in, in a good way i mean like the economic they did things that were economically sound for the times. That's, yeah. that's what it seemed like to me. I tried to convince my mom to sell their house and move to Georgia and she wouldn't, she wasn't doing it. Not your mom. <laughs> no, but I was like, she said she didn't, she, she loves her house. She sold the two story house kind of that I'd been in since kindergarten because it was too hard for the stairs. And, um, they got a brand new one story house, real, but it, it real nice ranch style. Yeah. House. It yeah. went up in, in value real quick when all that happened. So. I, what, that I was at three um, of, your, of like the cult homes, if you will. Um, four, three of them, your sister's is a ranch style. Mm -hmm. uh, your parents is a ranch style. Your old house was a ranch style. The only one that wasn't was um, Ray's, Raymond's house. Yeah. That was the only one that had an upstairs. And like his a, like. He, and that like, was in old Austin, like the older. It was. When he played. Um, baseballs when they built it and that's when they decorated it when he was like at his at his height they've never redecorated they don't have any interest and i was like sean look it's, there's like it was gold very, carpet it was so cool there's though. like I olive mean, green wallpaper and <laughs> if you were growing up in the set like if you were a little kid in the 70s like i was it was like that mm -hmm. um like you said real not loud that's not the right word but like you said gold mm -hmm. um carpets it was the, when you which when you're a sports star or whatever the yeah. equivalent was it's what you would do like to your house oak in the furniture mm -hmm. you know um really sturdy oak furniture um like a what would you call that not the not pleather but it was leather but it was like the naga hide type yeah they had um in the little sports room and it was badass it, I, it took me back to when i was about six or seven years old really real. oh yeah let it go says i am so stoned i can't imagine i can't keep a single thought i well, wonder really when you came in house. earlier i was wondering i was like i think i think she's had her gummy that's good it's good it helps that's your good. pain and that's the that's the important thing like for real i think uh, two of my two of my family members that live up north or north of us have both have their like medical cards now oh cool yeah um and it's the answer for a lot of people yes it's it the answer for a lot of people. Um, are you and Huckleberry hanging out? Let it go. Um, the the that's what she calls her. Friend, that's cool. Her male friend. Um, He's your Huckleberry. That's cool. I did that. I put the video up of the Christmas tree and some of the Christmas decorations. I know I kind of did the same one last year, but we have a few more decorations, and I actually like lit the candles or whatever. Um, so, and then it says. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year or whatever. But what's funny is I couldn't figure out how to fade the music out. So I had to keep adding pictures and stuff until, because <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to stop it where it would just go out. So I had to do it till literally the music clip was done. And I was like, it worked out though. Yeah. It did, it definitely worked out. 
and let it go was 20. Hey, Gigi, Merry Christmas. I was 20 and my first place was green and oak and he had great, uh, had glass grapes on the table. Let me tell you something. There was a chandelier at my grandmother's house that my uncle that we were just talking about bought my grandmother. It was a hanging glass chandelier of grapes or whatever. That was the freaking only thing I wanted when my grandfather passed because my grandmother had already passed and we were traveling. Chandelier of grapes. Oh my gosh. It was, a, cool. it was a hanging. So the um, lights are kind of inside. It's the like, it looks like a big bundle of grapes hanging and it's, it, they light up and I wanted it. So I don't even know who got it, but I was like, that's the, instead I got that little shadow box with that funny looking, you know, it looks like that ship scene or whatever. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. I, mean, yeah. I, I remember that hanging forever too. So I, I find that the things that, yes. that Mandy has brought with her and that are not like her kids, you know, you know, pictures of her kids, the stuff that she has brought along into this relationship. Um, I like most of it. Yeah. I mean, and a matter of fact, I can't think of something that I go, nah. Most I mean, there was it, some yeah. stuff that Mandy was like, give it away before we move. Like, there was this one bookshelf. Remember the one bookshelf that was heavy and it was kind of like kind of off center? And I drug it or I drug it out of your garage and, and discovery. And then I, oh, I, the I tiered it, one? Yeah. yeah. And then he we finally it gave it away. I, she didn't really like it. I liked it. It was more of a man cave type of thing. But And I um, said, it's, this is not an expensive shelf. We can get another mm -hmm. one. This one's half broken. My mom gave it to me half broken. I liked it. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was kind of, like you said, tiered. And it was mm -hmm. kind of different sizes and different lengths. Perfect for mm -hmm. a man cave. But it didn't quite make it to Dawsonville. Good. Let it go. Yeah, it didn't. And the other thing I wasn't crazy about, but it was what we had at the time and it was kind of costly, was the ch table and chairs. Yeah. The chairs were okay. The, um, yesterday my physical therapist came and I took a few steps. Good. That's awesome. Michaela's getting, you're get. she's getting rehab. She's weak, but Good. she's walking. Good. Good. That's it. That's, that's so cool. We, we don't have a lot of furniture left. Um, this little piece of the sectional, everything else we've either gotten. Go get your toy. Thrift Go shop, toy. Go Facebook toy. marketplace. We'll the dining room set, though, we got from his parents, and it's really nice. It was in their basement. So, anyway, now you know. Hey, Kay, Merry Christmas. Um, it's our. It's like new stuff. We bought this tree together. Mm -hmm. we, Most um, of it is. I mean, look, you guys know the story. You guys have followed us. We, When we were moving from Texas, we were... Mm, that was one of the probably the most stressful times we've been yeah. together. Um it was already stressful. Then it was you throw on top stressful. of it, Dad's got COVID. Yeah, and Bad. we were, and so we at the last second, and so Mandy was, I was, Thank you, Misty. I was kind of the muscle, and she was kind of dictating what she wanted me to do, and um, she was kind of doing, she was at hundred and ten percent of what she could do, um, and so we ended up. There was a guy um, that was milling around the dumpster and was taking a bunch of stuff that I was taking out there, and so I just got to, you know struck a conversation with the guy, you know, and he was, I don't think he was a hundred percent on the level, but he said, I think he had a resale shop. That's what I think. Um, but he said he was trying to help somebody out and this and that. And I said, well, we're moving here in a couple days and whatever we can't take, don't want to take, can't, you know, shouldn't take whatever you can have. And he got th that table. He got a lot of stuff. Yeah. And Mandy was just kind of like, it goes. He said, it goes, you know. He said with the table and chairs, he said, this is the nicest table and chairs mm -hmm. I've ever had. And I was happy for that. So even if he sells it for a couple hundred or whatever he was doing, it was right before Christmas. It was like the 20th of December, 19th or 20th. Um, Sawyer, don't go in there. And you and Tanner bumped it on the stairwell or whatever and took a chunk out of the table. And, and you were like, oh, and Tanner was like, she won't know, don't say anything. He was like briefing him on how his mother works. You remember the chair that that kind of like fabric chair that you ended up giving to Tanner? Didn't he didn't he keep that? The Lizzie Borden chair? Yeah. Yeah. Um and I remember taking it down the stairs by myself. Stop. And, it was a nice chair. And I, and I like ripped the side of it and I was like um, oh, but well, I got it. You should have told me that made it. It wasn't like that like, sealed its fate. Well that I mean but it didn't rip it like bad but you know you were this was your stuff, man. Yeah. And uh, so it went in the very back. It was back. our stuff. But, but yeah. it went to the very back of the storage thing. And um, it was the last thing we, we, I, you remember I went and cleaned it out and then I came back here and it was the last thing in, I could not fit it in the truck. And it was the last thing. And I told my son, I was like, please, 
You can take it to dad's house. You can take it to Goodwill or you could keep it. Please don't throw it away. It, it's a nice chair. It's it's mm -hmm. it's whatever. And he's, he took it to Goodwill, I think. Good. Yeah. I was like, They'll I just that don't want to. There was if, a few things we took to Goodwill. He was going to charge us like, he said if we had anything in there, one thing in that storage unit, we would be charged like 300 for a clean out. Yeah. So I had to do it. Stop it. Look, Scott's eating the wing. Our cat is over here eating. Chewing on the angel wing. Eating My mom a Christmas loved ornament. Vivid colors. I like vivid colors too. I prefer um, white. White is currently the dominant shade. I, I like, yeah, I do too. I like this because I, typical me, I got this color because it was the only color that they had in the warehouse right then. And, and, we only have this piece left because it got stained with animals and everything. So it's funny because it's like, no, I needed it right then. I mean, and that, that, it works that's, though. that's something that that couch or that piece of the couch. Danny's here. Hey, Danny. And our TV that's in the bedroom, it, I, they're really special to me. Like that one is the first thing we put up in Austin, the TV that's now in our bedroom. And it's just an on TV. O N N is the brand. It's kind of a, an off brand. But yes. it's, I'll carry that thing around wherever we go. <laughs> that I, Sean, that's, I do like that about him. He's very nostalgic. Mm -hmm. And he, um, I had not been in a relationship with someone like that before. So the fact that he remembers things and, and, and connects things with people. And like, you know, if I'm like, we'll just leave it behind. He's like, no, that's the, the TV we got when da 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 And, um different things like that and I like that. Sometimes I, I the only thing that I think back on my past and it, it it kind of hurts me a little bit, not hurts me, but I'm just a little bit sad about it, was the fact that a, a lot like my yearbooks and stuff like yeah. that, before YouTube, when when we split up in like 2000, end of 2015. It's Scout, he's mad. Um, I had a whole man cave that was almost the size of, it was above the garage and it was almost the size of this living room and yeah. I had um like 300 CDs I had like a hundred DVDs I had all kinds of army team my whole life and I didn't I, I lost that all all of it I was breakup. gonna I was gonna launch a mission and go on to Facebook and find everybody that you went to high school with mm -hmm. and get each one to donate a yearbook from a year like mm -hmm. and then either but because some people would be like yeah, that's fine. not anyone get all four of them. But if I got one from each person, then I could wrap it up and give it to you. But it wouldn't be the same because their yearbooks were signed by their people. Right. Not your people. <laughs> yeah, I know. That'd be kind of like <laughs> you've signed something to be like, remember the, the Friday the, night in the, the back one, of the... The one, I know. <laughs> the one that we saw, like the one that I have where I took, I cut my ex-boyfriend's picture straight out of it. Mm -hmm. And he was, I was like, this is called, like, you know, your first love and you break up. Y'all, I literally... Because he was a senior when I was, I guess, a junior. Well, anyway, you know, the seniors always have color pictures. The rest mm -hmm. of the group doesn't. And I literally, like, cut the picture out or whatever. And the name, I, like, scratched through it or whatever. And I was like, this is definitely Mandy's yearbook. Hey, Danny. Um, How many girls got dumped when they're... Uh, this happens a lot. How many, one, when you were younger, got dumped when you're older boyfriend went to college because it is amazing how many people will say yeah that happened to me i did it to my girlfriend when yeah, i was yeah and you were and a she, nice guy and she was she's a was a great girl yeah. i mean things things um happen for a reason but right. there's a couple people that and she was one of them that when you look back at it when your life wasn't was in you know not going so well when you went yeah i kind of fucked that up it's but, not the one we know no oh no, no i was no, gonna no, say you no, were no. nice to that one no you better um, not have been. You better been nice to that one. No. No. I, yeah. See, and and you never saw it coming. This was high school. That's what I'm talking school. about. But you never see it come. Like mm -hmm. you think, okay, well, bye. Um, I'll graduate in a couple years, and we'll have her. And then like, they either dump. Yes. Yeah, see, went to the service, broke my heart. I think I still love. <laughs> the first love is hard to forget. Mine happened to be a real piece of shit. But you um you never forget that one. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean. Unless yeah. you've never had it, then I suppose you, if you just have situation after situation of convenience, then and you don't really know what a first love is. Right. But you, you know, know when you know, though. I mean, I mean, it's. And you think it's going to last forever. You think. Yeah. You think and it, that. And it's so hard when you're telling your kids when they're in high school, when they're just like, think we'll their life forever. is over. 
their, their life is over when they're in a fight with them or there's something I'm like, first of all, and they're staring at their phone and, and they're like, what'd you do? Well, first of all, we didn't have phones. <laughs> I know. You know, so we just went home. We found something to do. She's mad at me. I'll see her tomorrow at school, you know. But at the same time, you remember the devastation. When yeah, you, yeah. But, but, and then, but so, you look at it for, as an adult and yeah. you go, you, let me tell you, in the scheme of things, this is not going to be. And you look at like when you run into somebody that, for me anyway, like, every, you know, years later, 30 years later, whatever, and you run into somebody or you cross paths on social media and you and you think back to that time and you think, for me, I'm like, man, I was so immature. Mm -hmm. I was such a, I was a baby. I mean, and I think guys are Im more immature. They're immature in their late teens and their oh, early yeah. 20s. Way more for immature. For sure. You know, and that's what I think, man. She, a lot of you got... She was dating a baby. That's what I would say. A lot of you broke up with or got broken up with when a guy went to the service. Let it go. Said, I I dear John the guy. So I'm thinking she broke up with him that went into the Navy and she did the the um, devil face. And then Karen says, Karen says she's just kidding about this. But yes, mine went into the service. Broke my heart. I think I still love him. Your, um, your first husband um, was engaged or whatever and when he went off to the service she dumped him they were, um when i went to college i dumped oh. my high school girlfriend right got backed with her that summer after my freshman year <laughs> and then she went off to college and i went to the service and she dumped me so i it was each it was, did each did a dumping and you were like that, that's not nice yeah and i remember sitting there at basic training and it was like january clancy. 1989 merry christmas i haven't seen clancy in a while hey clancy and i remember sitting there and, and and it was like the last couple like week of basic training and you're get and you, you have a little bit of freedoms and you're you know you're freaking you got to gi the barracks and i remember the one guy going up so i know she dumped you but dude we need some help over here i remember that just mm -hmm. then i was like oh you know like my son said when they were in germany um a lady, a girl, a girl was breaking up with her husband. They had two little kids, and she sent pictures of her oh. with this guy to his phone. Like that's, yeah, that's how she crazy, told him. Dude. And um, they were like, they did their own little like um, suicide watch on him, and he wasn't really suicidal, but they kept an eye on him because he oh, was that's messed up, though. devastated. Yeah. And she was like, "I was drunk. I still want to get divorced, but I was drunk when I did it." And he's like, "That doesn't make it any better." <laughs> I he's like, he, he's hey, like, Nelson, that's Merry good, Christmas. You know, like, yeah, he said it was bad. So um, they kept an eye on him or whatever. By the time they came home, he was, he's like, I'm ready to go home and um, get, get my shit out of that house and like no, whatever. He was like, house, he goes, it was a shitty marriage anyway. And she was one and a half kids the day we got married. And he, I was, everybody was like, well, you should have held off on that one. But they were there. So um, I believe he did end up actually taking custody of him if if really? it's the he same did? one. Yeah. Um, he came back from Germany and was like, you can get out. The kids stay. And I guess she did. So um, I've seen some of the pictures on Twitter that you finally got. Your I did, Clancy. We've got them now. Um, thank you, Sheila. Merry Christmas. And may you all be safe, warm, and blessed. Thank you. Um, it is definitely pretty cool when it's this cold on Christmas. You feel, I feel bad for the chickens and I feel bad for anybody who's not in sight, but it's neat for it to be, because in Texas, sometimes it may be 75, 80 degrees on Christmas and that's yep. just the way it is. Last Christmas, it was cold and two Christmases ago, it was cold in Austin. Remember when we, yeah. um, we got out of there right before they got that big freeze. Remember that yeah. devastating freeze? And it like took out the electricity for like days and days and days. Um, That'll probably be the last two logs for that. But it's it's, it's nice good. fire. It's it is a nice fire. But then if I the wood that I have left, I brought it all in from out there, and the, the few pieces that are under the shed, there'll be enough for one more. During okay. That. Did you see when you put them out by the front door, the chickens? That Brahma will get on anything. Yeah. It's so curious. Like if we bring a bale of hay. The Brahma runs over and jumps up on the bale of hay. He brought the firewood. The Brahma uh, yeah, jumped up on it. It was, um, most of it was left over from last year. Um, so I put it under, Ooh. we have the chicken coop and then we have a shed. So I put it under there because it's, mm. what do they tell us? It's extra dry wood. But so I kept it under the shed so it wouldn't get rained on all during the year. So it's, it's really, it's they good They probably wood. roosted on it. Um, but it stayed really dry. And I guess wood, when you cut it, it dries, but if it if you can keep it dried out for a, a whole year, it's supposed to be really good firewood. Oh. It, it, we have tons of wood behind us, but yeah. we don't ever. Um, let's see. 
back in here in Texas, I woke up the other day with it being 18. I've never seen it that cold here. The lowest I had ever seen it in Texas, and I remember I was in high school, was 19 degrees. So I will, yeah, I'd never seen it. That That's who, low. who's saying that? Clancy. And so Clancy, you were two two Christmases ago. Um, it was it was bad. Yeah, it Kay, was bad. Yeah. Kay says that it's 30 right now in Fort Worth. I. That may, we used to go to Wichita Falls to see my grandparents, not on Christmas Eve, but like the weekend before Christmas. Um, and that's what this smell reminds me of. I, uh, the only real fire that ever really got done was when we would we would cut, drive to, from Austin to Wichita Falls, walk in, and they would always have a fire going. And um, Pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it was a, it was definitely, that's what the smell reminds me. Even though I guess like my parents used to do fires too. For some reason, this this reminds me of that. Um, Karen and Let It Go both have a full house generator. Uh -huh. Sean lusts after generators. Yeah. Just so you know. But they but they have they have one that's built into the their big house, one, yeah. right? Yeah. See, I'm just gonna get like a portable one, like maybe a. But what if the landlord said, "I'm I'm gonna put in a, a house generator." It, You'd be like, "I'm in love with you. this place." Would need? I mean, that would be overkill, really. Yes, I mean, you might be right, Miss Fest. They says each wood smells. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. I would imagine. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure what this is. All I know is it's whatever they. The use. majority of it we got last Christmas, thinking we were going to build fire every year, every night, and we built like two. I had no idea he knew how to build fires until we went to the cabin. Um. So again, it, it's burning much better than it wow. did when we got it last year. It's that's. It's burning really well, but it burns fast when it's dry too. Clancy, they ended up going to their aunt's house because she didn't lose power. Ah. Uh, um. How your parents were out of power for like five days, weren't they? Something like that. They were like Crazy melting dude. snow. They said, and it was literally only a couple weeks after we left, right? And the problem, yeah, it was. It was like New Year's or something. Buddy heaters. Um, and the problem with that is you have to keep the interior of a house like fifty degrees or something, forty-five. You know. It can't get like below, um, it can't freeze yeah. or it'll, the house will set and crack and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Karen, so yours doesn't switch over to the generator automatically. The, the lady that I worked with last time, um, and of course she was compromised, so she didn't even really realize that the electricity had gone because it switched over to generator power. Um, but you're saying that you don't have it automatic. They use, unless it's a major outage, they don't. Right. But what powered theirs? Like she was her her house was heated by propane. It, it did that. Propane. propane turned it on. They had she had something that she had like when the power went out, it had a switch or something. It, it mm -hmm. and it like an alarm and a switch and then the, the pro and it was. It so what drive. do other people have? It just um, is charged by the just charged. It's like a gas thing. So it's it has like to gas, have yeah. some sort of. Fuel. It has to have some kind of fuel because I mean. It's not electric because you don't have electricity. Right. So. That's, so maybe it is. Ours comes on in like 10 seconds. Yeah, that's... And it was funny because some things, some of the outlets in her house weren't powered by it because it was for essential stuff. So her 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 central vac wouldn't come on. You know, the one you plug mm -hmm. up because, because of the fact that it just wasn't Didn't essential. Need it. It did, yeah. Oh, and we went round and round and round and round about that. I was like... And you, if I said there's no... Of course there's power. Look, the lights are on. Like, she was... She didn't know that. It was fun. It was always an adventure. She was going through $800 worth of propane a month because everything was just on and wide open. I, she was $1,200, and a couple months later, it was like another $1,200 in propane. And I, like, and I said, we need to start keeping it lower. So-and-so wants us to lower it just a little bit. And she's like, I'm not going to be cold. I'll keep it as warm as I want. Yeah, okay. She's going to keep it warm. Okay. Well, you're, you're 85 <laughs> and a multimillionaire. You can do whatever you want. One thing that will happen with this fire being as hot as it is, is it'll, that thermostat will say that it's, so the heat will cut yeah. off and the rest of the house will get cold mm -hmm. because it's saying that it's, the thermostat's reading it a different temperature than what, and that's okay. I mean, once that goes out, but, but. Clancy says that our trailers get a fireplace. We don't get a chimney, and that's because my parents let a dumbass fix our roof, and he took the chimney <laughs> off. <laughs> so you have a fireplace and no chimney, so if you started a fire, you figure out real oh quick. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. That's kind of funny. I'm trying not to laugh. but um, The first time every year, the first fire that you build, you find out real quickly if there's anything that's made their home. In the, in, Mandy, you said you heard things in there, like 
but yeah. I don't think anything made what a I, home in it. What I heard, um, yeah, Karen, then both my parents were working and I was in high school and when I would get home, they were packing up for the day so no one was there to actually watch them. <laughs> <laughs> they, those roofers just got rid of your they were like no we don't need this no but through the they course, probably said something like do y'all build fires you need a fireplace nah okay great and it's just easier just to do yeah because here you're right though because it's not a huge chimney it's a little mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not like you see in house you're right i could see how they would just yeah this is a modular home like a the big ass, I like this place looked like it started as a, you know, they brought the base in, which was a trailer and then they built onto the modular. So this is about what you can have for a modular home. But, and then when you look outside, it's not this wood chimney. It comes out like a metal spout. Yeah. Like a pot. A yeah. Like pipe. a pot, like a yeah. big pot belly or whatever. That's funny. Um, leave them alone. Scout. But I remember like when I'd build a fire during the day, like last year, and I'd be outside looking around and I could see the smoke coming out. It made me yeah. feel like cozy. It's very cozy. Um, they can't take it off. It wouldn't pass occupancy code. But I think what he's saying is they hired a contractor to do their roof and they just closed it off. Like there's no, it's probably against code. Yeah. But there's no one to check it. Like yeah. it's there. Um, what did you, oh, Okay. So over the course, the Let It Go keeps a straight. Let It Go's even had a gummy, and she's still keeping a straight. Cool. Over the course of the year, every once in a while, I, I hear something focus. boom, like in the fireplace. Yeah. And then and and not, you know, several times throughout the year, and there was no animal or anything. I guess it was just like soot or something, but I kept it pretty clean. Yeah, but I remember like you put wood in it. Remember when you stacked I all the wood it in there, it? Yeah. And I would when I was cleaning it out to get the fire going there was like fresh soot on top of okay the that's like, what so something was in there i totally was like can't we store it in the fireplace and he was like well i guess we yeah. could i mean, I you mean why not yeah that's that's a good place especially <laughs> in the summer hubby yeah. wants to start a western movie yeah we're not going to be on too much longer um have a good have a merry christmas karen i will definitely i'm sure we'll cross paths tomorrow we'll text each other we'll, um, uh, yeah well mandy will keep you up to date with whatever the drama is at the at the house i bet it is i it probably is i would imagine it is miss festus i don't um yeah karen karen is always watching even if even if she's busy probably cooking four turkeys a ham and a bunch of other stuff she's always nearby um Let's see. Chimney swift birds are notorious for nesting in fireplaces. That's, yeah, I could see that. Um, is that real brick right there? Huh? Is that real brick? Um, I think the outside of it is, yeah. Tap it. It is? I don't think it no, is. But it's something that can withstand yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. It was a cell. It was a. It was definitely a point when we um, went in. It was like bathtub fireplace sold. Um, yeah, it's fireplace in the garden tub. What are you doing? He's like, you know what? My scout's sitting right. You want to see scout? Hold on. What are you doing? That's dad's seat. What are you doing? Yeah, he, he's he's a little jealous of me. What are you doing? I think he's gonna bring Tiny Tim in here, which is a is it? Oh shoot, which is a good name because it's Christmas. Oh no! Don't go down. Okay, hold on. Let's make it stay. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, no. All okay, right, there we go. I think he's bringing the little guy in. No, I'm just... Is he okay? Yeah, okay. This, this little bird, do y'all know our little one? He eats and drinks. He now knows how to move himself over to his water. Okay. I mean, um... So no one, I know she's not live or anything, but is is did did Leticia get extradited back to Arkansas or whatever? Did that go through? They need to do a reality show about that one. Yeah, or at least some kind of like A and E thing or whatever. I remember when she finally got monetized. She goes, "So I just act batshit crazy and I get paid by YouTube." That is exactly That's right. right. You, Welcome to our community. <laughs> remember before she got monetized, she was like, I don't want nothing to blah, 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 blah. And yeah. this and this, blah, blah, blah. And then it was like, yeah. what is this? I was like, when I said that you will get paid, 
The downside is that you are now owned by, yeah. by you know. And, People and, are going to call. Yeah, they're going to call, gonna call everyone you know. Gonna, and it doesn't yeah. mean it's right, but it is going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, I, this, okay. Do you see what it's doing, Sean? <laughs> it's, all right, hold on. Okay, I think, I just need it to go, you did it last time and you made it work. Okay, there. There we go. Just It'll be good it. enough. It'll, we'll, we'll bring, She's it, still we'll bring it to the home stretch. <laughs> She was something else, that one. Um, I will say, you know, not that it's right, but when she was having it out with her brother and her mom, I don't think it was live. I think she recorded it and then uploaded it. Maybe one was live. That is probably the most raw drama our community has seen. That was that even topped y'all's argument. And and the that, thing and because her brother was he was at his wit's end. She, and she would sit there and bait him like. Yep. Ugh. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're doing that. Oh, you're doing that. And then I remember when she saw like the bottle of Dilaudid or whatever the mother took. And she's like, look, this is in the bathroom. I'm like, someone is going to rob you. I know. You know what I mean? Like. And and thanks to Moonbear, we found out that her brother like had other charges and had more stuff. He did, but to him. like nothing. But he said, he goes, nothing like what you have now. Because she yeah. was pending that false. And she still never really understood that what she did was wrong. And I, I don't think like insane wrong, like she doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. She thought if the guy doesn't call you back and you're pissed off, then you shouldn't have said yes because he didn't call back and that's right. I mean, that yeah. was her logic. It, it's just really, really hard to like, just roll with that type of drama. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're a dude that's been with some psycho that okay. does certain things like that and systemically. Um, Cause when it's, when, you know, especially towards guys. Happy towards guys, Christmas. they're always trying to get protective orders and, and they're always beating them up. And then, so when you see some girl that does that or has that, that MO, it, it's, yeah. it's like, oh, come Whenever on. Whenever she would start talking about that, that I usually would turn it off at that point because I, I could tell it annoyed you. It's just... It's wrong. And guys, because it, uh, it can happen to any guy. If you don't, like I said, mm -hmm. before you stick it in crazy, make mm -hmm. sure... <laughs> Right. That that one's and I, how would you know? Especially dudes that are you know genuinely want to try to help somebody yeah. as, as well as being the you know as well as being in a relationship and trying to be good to them and love them. You're also trying to 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 stop the ground from shifting and then you know, but that's so easily. I mean, so easily they just go, well, that didn't work out the way I wanted to. It's like you're terminated. We're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna make your life as miserable as we can and. Did it turn out he was married, that JW was married? Do y'all remember? Yeah, what was that all about? Because at one time I heard he the was married, and bit. then he said if it was his, he was going to take it, but then it went to a police officer's for a fault, and they were going to adopt the baby. It was a cute baby. Yeah. It was It was for considering that she lived in a car, and who knows what else she did. It was a healthy baby. Yeah. Um. See, this is the chat sometimes delays. Yeah, we can do this. Hold on. Khaki's there, though. Say hi, Khaki. Hey, Merry Khaki. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I think that's it. I think that's Okay, been... as long as it's caught up or whatever. Um, do any of you, like, does anybody there, like... Let it go said I don't think he's married. He's, that's what I, it, and I don't, I'm not positive that was him in the chats that he was in. It could have been, and I think they thought it was. I'm not seeing any of the hosts of the streams, like, did it... But I, I, I don't know if but it that's was him. that's that's the drama mm -hmm. community. They're gonna throw that narrative out mm -hmm. there. And I think it, it part of it is to make the drama thicker, or there are some people that sympathize with Leticia when they're and they're just go, Well, he was married. Yeah, let it like, go. She did, she pushed her stomach against the wall to make her water break so she could get out of jail and then delivered the baby. Wow. Um oh, man. But the other thing also at one time it was going around that he'd had a vasectomy and that was the that was the linchpin in the whole thing is she accused him of getting her pregnant and raping so her, never but did, she, he had did, had a vasectomy. Did, did they never said no. if it was his or not? And it doesn't matter. We, we know it doesn't, but there that was a, been. An, a court date in December where they, where they were supposed to do something, but I think it really didn't matter in the end because the baby was being adopted. So yeah. I don't know if paternity had to yeah. be claimed or anything like that. And, hey, when, TLA. And, and when the kid gets older, if it does want to know, you're like, well, who's my dad? Well, biologically, well, we don't really know. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's, you know, one less thing for... Maybe they legally have to do it because it was already in process. I don't know. But I never really knew what the true story was with him. Oh, the baby had a bruise on 
I, she, wow, it, she wow, 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 what's wow. interesting is when she was live with the baby and saying, oh, I love, you know, and, and looked very maternal. Turns out though, when the camera was off, she was literally giving them away. Giving, you know, giving everybody shit saying, here you go, take the baby. But so, yeah, he said he would never reveal. So like whether it was his or wasn't his, but. Yeah, she really, she didn't know how to use the camera. She sure did. She figured out pretty quick. She figured out how to get an audience and probably not just with uh, with the U in YouTube audience, probably in life too. She, you know. She was a professional cuddler. Yeah, that's what I heard. And then she really thought that people were like, she okay, really I'm down. And that's then, what I'm saying. Like, what if Deshaun Watson like was like, so you want to cuddle? He's like, she's like, yeah. And then okay. she, but I, I, I know people say, well, it was just a code. She was really escorting or whatever. I don't think she knew, was. Mm -hmm. I think she got pissed off when they thought she was going to do something else. She, I'm going to say this, and I know it's kind of drastic. The way her anger was towards dudes in a while was a little Eileen Wernos ish Yeah. The way it was. Um, yeah, someone hurt her at some yeah, point. Yeah, that, I don't that know is who for it was. Sure. That but, is for sure. Um, she loved to stick those udders out. Of, she learned it got the money. Go get your toy. Where's your toy? She didn't, Where's she you? didn't used to take them out all the time. Um, and then all of a sudden she started showing a little cleavage and she must've been getting some perks because she, what, I remember that one Saturday she took them completely out and got struck because she just. I didn't see that one. We, she, she was laying in her car, whatever. And she was like, look, and she's just like sitting there and there. And like, that's a strike that's and take down. And I was like, I'm reporting. Of course you are. Of course you are. Or of course you are. And TT still doesn't like you that way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Very recently, I became aware of a YouTuber named Andrazia. I've seen her a couple of times. She's cashing in on being um, psychologically fragile. She has some bats in the um, belfry, but she's blatantly manipulated. Bats in the belfry. <laughs> I've never heard that. She left the baby <laughs> on her bed and then went to the loo, and that's when the nurses came and took the baby away. Yeah, I guess um, they didn't want to... She could have done anything. I, they... I'm glad they didn't take eyes off of her when she had the baby. Um, um, Michaela, when we sign off, I want you to do the snakey snake thing. Oh, I've done that a while. Hey, did you see that? It was, someone did that. Did you, I'm a snake. Uh, yeah, it was. It, it's, it's resurfaced again, like. He tried to do other ones too, but it didn't. It, it never. Mm -mm, it it never, never. It's on all of those things where you can like. You know those things where you can put someone's face in it and it sings and does yeah. whatever? It's on all of those apps. Like Paula does those, right? Does does those the She's done them a couple of times. I the one that she did with Boho is like <laughs> She flipped out. Where's my where's my papers? I'm ready to go to Canada. Got a parka. I got my snow boots. Well, I'm, you just wait because someone is taking you to court, supposedly. I'm, serve me. I'm you waiting. You just wait. There's, my name's all over that. That you're all over it. There's enough evidence that I that I was mean. ATX, that I was mean. Slitherous neck. Um, so I watched her when her and the other weird guy that was obsessed with the nurse. They used to go William back and Brown forth. or something like that. James Randolph. J or James and stitching, Randolph. Stitching's probably not here, but that's. And they would go back and forth, but re I heard. Oh, so they were fighting when, with each other. Yeah, and then they were friends. It was a whole thing, but I've heard Andrasnia now. Um, is plays the crazy up to get money, but and she must do it well. I haven't seen her in forever, but <laughs> Michaela, she You're I've welcome. heard she banks off <laughs> yeah. of it. The receipts will be ready for you. The um, yeah, I when I watched her, and this has been months and months ago, I watched her, she was just kind of a whiny brat. Yeah, I'm more into uh, Alice, the one that thinks everyone's oh, look, <laughs> Eli, yeah. <laughs> She does it in between these two fingers, and it's like a prop cigarette. She doesn't even yeah. inhale it. But there does there is smoke though. Yeah, it comes. But you can tell she's not like. Um, there's got to be people <laughs> that act like that, that act that paranoid and psycho, that are really just acting for you. Do you guys remember Saturday Night Live that are old enough to, to remember the the bit where the guy with the cigarette was like, "I know that. Well, why do you think I don't know that?" You know, do you remember that? And he would just smoke, and, and they, they made so the cigarette would go all the way down, and it would ash, and it would do this big, long thing, and then he, and it would go, and he, and he was, like, being interviewed, and he'd be like, yes, I know. That's not true. Yes, I know that. What makes you think wasn't that? Wasn't he, didn't he, wasn't he playing, like? It was, just, 
I, 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 I don't bet remember. if I put in the right um, little hashtag words, search words, I could find it on YouTube. But no, James will never score. He needs to quit stalking the nurses. That was he... it John Lovitz? I, it, I don't think it was. I think it was somebody else. But it, it was something that John Lovitz would do. And it, it all it was like when they did the, the bit, he'd it'd just be his face like this, and he'd be smoking, and he'd be talking. That's not true. No, no that's not that right. That does sound vaguely familiar. It does, John Lovett. Yeah, it. I vaguely remember. I thought he was like on the news thing, though. It might have been on. Like the news they were. Things. It was Saturday. That it might have been. The on anchor the news would be thing. interviewed. Yeah. Him. Yeah. I got to tell you, man, and I'm I'm not. This is drama, but I'm not going to say any names because it. We're not going to do that tonight. But there are some people that still say that they're still like i have a lawsuit a lawsuit for what you're not even a creator yeah what are we every, doing to you uh, the, the, you're I, not I've, even you don't even have a channel How i've never understood out? the whole like saying that like i'm gonna pursue you and and for what i think it's a national uh, a natural reaction that people have like um what, they'll, they'll just, just a wait. natural you're thing to say, you, oh, you're going to, I'm going to get you and you just wait. I have lawyers and I have, you know, and it's like, dude, we, it's like. And the only way that even works if you do a punk move is if you're in the same state. You certainly can't do anything about someone hurting your feelings online if you're in a different state. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the ones that we do see that have some traction are people that are in the same state. Mm -hmm. Even then it's hard, but. Um, yeah. That but is true. we're not going to sue anybody because, um, no. yeah, that's a common thing around here. Some people, yeah, and it's true. I think some people do legit get intimidated by it. It scares them to think whatever. But let me tell you, I have been told been by involved. ex friends that I'm going to be called into court. I've been told by like just about everybody, and I'm like, where are my papers? We want to take a vacation. Yeah, if you can get an attorney in your town that you're going to pay. To take on the case to serve me because I'm a bitch. I'm here for it. I'm here yeah. for it. True. Um, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna that's called slander. You said did it. No, it's not. Now, Rich Life did get in trouble for it because he literally went on the guy's website and defamed that's it. Different. And he lost business. That but I still don't think it went anywhere. He just had to show up in court a few times or something. Well, I think like they that. did a protective order. All I had to do was stop. I heard he showed up in like a leisure suit or something in court. <laughs> Rich Live, what is he up to? Has anyone seen what he's been up to lately? I don't know. He's gone. He got kicked off too. He's a he's a strange one. Yup. And Aww. and you you'll see you'll see people he does. You know, try to drag other people in to, to their drama. You see that going on too, just... It, and that's the thing. I'm like, don't let people clear. troll you. Well, whoever they're saying, like, yeah. so-and-so is going to whatever, give give credence to the fact that they may not be telling the truth. And they're probably not. They're it, probably you know, trolling. And it works sometimes. I mean, it, it happens more than not. It's like, even to us, we'll be sitting there and all of a sudden it's like, did you hear what someone said that you were... And it's like, what? You know? Always I relevant. Know. Always relevant. Yeah, I always say love me, hate me, but please subscribe and keep coming. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, we did have we got Sawyer the little Kong binky when he was a puppy. I don't know what happened to it. He I'm yours he like he didn't it. want nothing to do with it. He didn't care about it. Rich Life has tried to add me on Twitter before and I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you, man. Yeah, there's a few Elvis travels after I saw everything there was to see about him. I don't watch even when people re-upload his Facebook lives and stuff. He's just a nasty, weird dude. Yeah, he was vaguely interesting when you could log on to YouTube and just be saying, who's live right now? And he he might be live or whatever it was, and you just listen to him. And know. he's another one that was like, I'm on top of the world. I am the, I am the master of my domain. And the I am I am your your king and this and that. Hold on, let me get I, – I'm out of gallon freaking – garbage bag so now i gotta use my walmart bag but i'll be right back i gotta go relieve myself and throw it out it's crazy yeah he was not bag. he was in that bag are you are you ready to start yeah okay. yeah we can do that guys did you have fun with us i hope so the next time you see us it'll be christmas day we'll probably be back we're gonna open the presents tomorrow at some point i think we're i mean just christmas at my parents is at like two Sean's about so, to go tie a big bow on that car. He's like, before you get up thinking you're going to get it. A... 
Yeah, that no, was another kidding. one. I mean, yes. I mean, we didn't have to say anything about the make, model, how much it costs or whatever because someone else has a channel. They even pulled the Carfax on and it. And they're pulling <laughs> the Carfax. <laughs> they're they're going to put the whole contract out for you. They're going to tell you every... VIN number. They're going to tell you every um, option that we have on it. We don't have to tell you because someone else is obsessing over it, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Um... Oh, because this is your phone. Gotcha. I was like, I got that one. B L O C K E D. Oh, really? Anyways. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My throat hurts. You guys have a fantastic night. Yeah, Sean's you guys, Merry Christmas. Thing. I'm going to jump up. I like did I the used snake to. thing all day. I did a snake oh, a snake. Well, then there we Michaela go. Michaela saw the snake. I'm a snake. The, but you used to say ATX is a snake. Thing. She is a snake. I'm a snake. Anyway, what we need to figure the. um. Whatever that is where you could put someone's face in there and do all that. And there is one where it's like, I'm a snake. I'm a slippery snake. And you can put anyone's face on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dragged to, to court for being a general bitch. I have to file. For, I cannot even tell you all the people that have said, my brother's an attorney. My daddy's yeah. a judge. You're going here. You're going mm -hmm. there. This is, I've been waiting. Guess I'll what? sign for it. Send it certified. I will sign that I got the paper. It is not against the law to be an asshole. Uh -uh. It isn't. I mean, it's, it's not. And while people shouldn't do shit in real life that we see people do on mm -hmm. here, there's still very little yeah. that you can do about and it. And let them let them fight it out. If yeah. there's don't let don't get pulled into it. You know, it's not against the law. And guess what? Most judges will say is Unplugged. there's a little button right there. So if somebody's talking about mm -hmm. you, and if you, you don't can just hit off. And it says if you don't block and if you're they're not blocked and you leave them unblocked yeah. to entertain their bullshit, that's the first that we've seen the judge. Mm -hmm. Are they blocked? Are they blocked? Well, well no, because I, I wanted to. evidence and I wanted then that's yeah. the that boom. They have to break through a block to harass. A block them. and and if you haven't directly through text said stop call, you know, stop talking about me. I mean it's the no, contact. Not stop talking it. about you, stop contacting me. Right. You but can talk about you're right. You can talk about them all they want, but I have heard a judge say, have you, have you reached out to this person and told them to stop? And they're like, well, well, okay, so you blocked them? Well, no. But you're right. Basically, they'll tell you block them. Mm -hmm. If you haven't blocked them, get the hell out. Mm -hmm. And they'll say they're allowed to say whatever they want to online, other than threats and things. Although, you, you have YouTube to prove, might do something about that. You have that. to prove defamation. You have to defamation prove is not, too. Yeah, you have to prove, and, and, you, and your hurt feelings is not damage enough. Mm -hmm. It just isn't. And Onslow County's sick of it. Y'all have a good night. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. We'll see you tomorrow, Bye. probably.